So obviously I love learning new languages and since last time when I learned Polish using a YouTube video was a lot of fun, I decided to give another language a shot and try to learn this term Greek. I mean I guess they have more awesome words than just Malaka, Efkaresto and Yamas. So let's try it. Okay, let's see how much this video can help me. Welcome to GreekPod101.com's Elinika Sitrielepta, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Greek. Yeah, let's go with Chrissy. Hello, Poli. Oh my Chrissy. God! Pleased to meet you. <laughs> In this series, we are going to learn basic Greek expressions. Nice, basic Greek expressions. Awesome. <laughs> it is super easy, and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to introduce yourself in Greek. There are only two sentences you need to do it. But first, it is important to clarify that in Greek, there is a difference between formal and informal language. Uh, as Let's always. first see how Greek people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Okay. Yeah, Lego me Chrissy. Hello, Poli. Hi, I'm Chrissy. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Lego me. Lego me. Chrissy. Hero. Uh, <laughs> not Chrissy. My name is Peter. <laughs> yeah, Lego me Peter. Poli. Her Start poli. by saying Yeah, Lego me. Yeah, Lego me. Yeah, Lego me. Then say your name. Peter. Yeah, Lego me Peter. This is kind of fun. <laughs> Finally, say Hero Poli. Hero Poli. Yeah, Lego me Chrissy. Yeah, Lego me Peter. Hero poli. And now let's see the same sentence. Oh, I already love Greek. <laughs> informal speech. Χαίρετε. Χαίρετε. Παπαδοπούλου. Oh my gosh. Hero poli για τη γνωριμία. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That's so much information at once. Hello, my name is Chrissy Papadopoulou. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Wow. This is what I call formality. Χαίρετε. Χαίρετε. Λέγω με. Λέγω με. Χρυσή Παπαδοπούλου. Peter. Let's still stay discreet about my family name. Χαίρο πολύ για τη γνωριμία. Χαίρο πολύ για τη γνωριμία. Ah, it is, it is tough. It is a tough language. I can already see it. Χαίρετε. Λέγω με. Peter, Hero Poli Yati Knorimia. So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Ya yeah has been substituted with a formal greeting, Herete. Okay, so there is Ya yeah and there is Herete. Greek for rejoice. Legome Chrissy has not been changed. Legome Peter. Legome stands in both cases for my name is. However, during a formal self introduction, we also say our last name. So I said Chrissy Papadopoulou. Oh, okay. So when it's formal, you always say your family name. Gotcha. Finally, there is one more change to the ending. We added the words Yatignorimia to the phrase Heropoli. Heropoli. Okay. And in the formal speech, at the end of Heropoli, you also add Giati Gnorimia. Gotcha. In informal cases, we can just say Heropoli. Literally, I'm happy or pleased. Well, that's awesome. Cool, cool. I really like that one. I'm pleased by your acquaintance. Greek people, I like you. <laughs> but in formal cases, it's good to add yet ignorimia. Heropoli, yeti ignorimia. I'm pretty sure that my accent sounds funny to you guys, but I'm still trying my best. It's my very first attempt at speaking Greek. Sorry in case I fucked it up. One more time. The informal way to introduce yourself in Greek is yeah. Lego me Chrissy, Hero Poli. Yeah, Lego me Peter, Hero Poli. The formal way to introduce yourself is Hierete, Lego me Chrissy Papadopoulou. Hierete, Lego me Peter, Lingualizer Rolu. <laughs> Peter Lingualizer Rolu. <laughs> to make it Greek. Hero Poli, get ignorimia. Hero Poli, get ignorimia. Ignorimia. Ah, it's tough, it's tough. Hero Poli, get ignorimia. And if you're not sure if you have to use a formal or the informal greeting, the informal greeting, Heropoli, is not considered rude. That's good. So whenever I say Heropoli, people will be fine, I suppose. That's good to know. Do you know how we say thank you in Greek? Uh, Evcharisto. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. You'll learn how to say this and many other words in the next lesson. Θα τα ξαναπούμε στο επόμενο μάθημα. 
Can you even speak faster, actually? <laughs> Honestly, this was an awesome lesson. It's like really tough language. Although I speak six to seven different ones already, learning new ones that are not really similar to others that you've already studied makes it a really tough job to learn this new language. But anyways, it was a hell of a fun I really enjoyed this small lesson, so to say. And of course, I hope that all the Greeks that watch this video are happy with the result, with the outcome, like what I learned and the way I pronounce stuff. If not, again, sorry, I didn't mean to. Um, it's literally my first attempt at trying to speak this language. Anyways, I hope to see you in the next video where I try to learn another language. It will be most probably either Dutch or Romanian. And I hope to see you there. Peace.